All right, Sagittarius, it is your turn. Let us see what we've got. So we are releasing the Wheel of Fortune and we are harvesting the Knight of Cups reverse. I love this for you, Sagittarius. When we draw Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, it generally means that big forces of fate are at play in your life. So the universe wants you to let go of trying to control what happens and all those big dreams you want to manifest as full moon in Pisces. It's time to do that manifestation work, but then we're going to let go and we're going to focus on our routines. Virgo season and Mercury in retrograde are saying you cannot rush things. So actually you need to surrender and let go and stop worrying about how these things are going to happen. You do your part, but how things actually fall into place is none of your business. You need to let the universe deal with that. It's about being co-creators. So in this Virgo season, I want you to focus on your routines and getting all your ducks in a row and your things in order so that the universe can come in and make those things happen. Surrender and let the universe do its part. But it's actually way more efficient. You don't need to try so hard to control everything because the universe can arrange things in a way that is going to blow your motherfucking mind and it's going to be way more easier than what you would have created yourself. Really harvesting this Knight of Cups energy, which is really moving with the heart. Really this full moon in Pisces, Sagittarius is asking you to come back to what is it that your heart truly wants in any given situation and how can you learn to tune in and to really start making decisions from what the heart really wants. Look, the mind is going to be saying all sorts of things like, oh, you know, you shouldn't want this or you need to do this in a certain way. But the heart always knows what the heart wants. And half of the battle in our lives is our mind battling with our heart. Nine of Cups is here to say that when you move with the heart, you are really moving on aligned timing. So you need to make time this full moon to sit with what it is you really want because big things, Wheel of Fortune is saying big things are coming for you, Sagittarius. Your dreams are going to come together. But in order for you to be able to really be in a space to create and to receive and to ride that wave, you need to be good with your heart and you need to get clear with what your heart really wants that your mind has been blocking. Now, if you need any help figuring any of that out and you want to find out what's blocking you and you want confirmation about the things that you kind of already know, but you need someone to tell you, book me for a one-on-one -on -one reading. Okay, Capricorn, let's see what we have. We are releasing the moon and we are embracing the queen of cups. I love this. Okay, so this full moon in Pisces and for September, Virgo season, Capricorn, we are releasing the need to be certain. I know y'all love certainty. Y'all love knowing exactly where you're going. You love the path and you love keeping on going on the path no matter what happens. The moon is here to say you got to get good with not knowing. You need to release your need for certainty and you need to really delve into your intuition. Capricorn, when you kind of release and trust the universe and trust this period of uncertainty for you, the universe is going to reveal things to you in a different light. When the moon pops up, it is really asking us to surrender to the magic of the night. We see things really differently in the moonlight than we do in the day. Things tend to be a bit more heightened, but I feel like there are some things your intuition is trying to tell you something, Capricorn, but your rational mind keeps on shutting it down. You need to release this need for the logical path to unfold before you and you need to get comfortable with your intuition because you need to receive what the universe is trying to put down and what we're really embracing is the heart it's being the queen of cups is here to say this is a great season for you to harvest the things that your heart really wants and i also want you to kind of really look at what is that private self or that private space where you go to kind of get good with the heart and connect with it and feel all those feelings and feel good and feel romantic feel idealistic this is a really great time to create from that place. So if you're, if you make time, if you carve out some time in your routine to disappear into your own little bubble of happiness or love and the things that inspire you and the things that help you connect with your heart space, you are going to be able to create and manifest things very fast. So it's all in your hands. You need to carve out that space in private by yourself to do that work. And that's going to help you get a lot more comfortable with uncertainty because you are going to realize that this is a very magical time and magic and miracles can happen just like that as long as you surrender. Now, if you need any help, Capricorn, with pivoting or letting go of things, come see me for a one-on-one -on -one reading and we will clarify things for you. My beautiful Aquarius, it's your turn. So what do we have? We are releasing the Tower Reverse. I love this for you. And we are harvesting justice. Yo, Aquarius, these are some serious cards. Okay, 
So if this full moon in Pisces Aquarius, it's asking you to surrender to the process. I there have been things that have happened in Leo season that have completely challenged what your core beliefs are. So you're probably going through a bit of a, a bit of upheaval, a little bit of instability. Maybe your pride has come crashing down a little bit. Aquarius, this is releasing you needing to know everything all the time and being in complete control. And it's also releasing an old version of yourself that no longer applies. This is really fantastic. I know it might feel very intense right now, but universe is asking you to surrender and to say goodbye to the older version of yourself because the universe wants you to rebuild from the ground up it's not rebuilding from halfway up with all of your ego it is it's basically raise your ego so that you can start afresh and you can really this full moon in pisces dream carve and create a new structure aquarius your big picture thinkers so when the structure is not working sometimes the universe comes really strikes down the structure so that you can start to rebuild from the ground up harvest card which is justice is that once we raise everything to the ground all of our kind of illusions and our, we've taken off our rose tinted glasses all of those illusions are stripped away and then we can see what truly is not what we wish we could be so we can rebuild exactly what we wish we could be sometimes we cannot rebuild unless we are forced to see what is the reality of the situation what is the reality that i've been ignoring because i've been so focused on the potential of the situation that i haven't realized that i've been sitting in this unrealized potential for 12 months and nothing is happening nothing is moving it's stagnant energy this is here to say this is a great time for you to really even the scales it is to bring things back into balance by really getting clear with what are the truths you need to face now and how can you rebuild things from the ground up what an intense time Aquarius so if you need any help clarifying what is blocking you and what you really need to let go of in order to move on come see me for a one-on-one -on -one reading you can book me on my website or any of my LinkedIn bio